Holy shrimp, that's epic! It's reaction time! This is a request from a fellow subscriber via Discord. He wants me to react to this video pertaining to the production or construction, combined production, of pretzels. And of course, because he requested me this one, it kind of made me reveal the time when I uh, used to not like pretzels when I was a little kid. But growing up, though, my taste buds kind of altered a little bit to where I can actually eat pretzels. But the most, most, this, this certain pretzel that I love to eat most of the time are Snyder's Buffalo Wing flavored pretzel bits. Not to mention pretzel bread. But either way, this is composed by the Science Channel. So before coming to the reaction to pretzels, how it's made, make sure you take a minute to subscribe to the Science Channel. As always, I'm going to show in the credits, comments, and the outro of the video. And with that said, let's go on this clip. We shall see how it goes. Long clip now. Thought I might have closed captions in there. Oh. I love it so much in bread form, huge bread form. It's the more traditional soft baked ones. To make enough dough for 4,870 pretzels, oh. a worker first blends short, sugar, and salt in a sugar and salt. Huh. The machine automatically adds yeast, corn syrup, corn syrup, yeast, 1,638 gallons of cold water. That's a lot of gallons there. 60 pounds of flour. But cold water helps make the dough elastic. That's a lot of so flour, too. Can shake it before it hardens. Mm. A worker then opens the mixer and slows Whoa. the Whoa. Look at all that mix. No, look at all that dough. He splits the batch on a the table, then creates chunks that go into a tank called a hopper. A hopper, huh? It feeds an auger that channels the dough chunks through little guillotines. The blades chop the chunks into two and a half ounce balls to make small pretzels. Yeah. Five ounce balls for large pretzels. <laughs> two conveyor belts squeeze 50 to Ooh. 50 inch long segments called noodles. Mechanism. True mechanism right there. Factorial work. Look how they started to Another alter their forms. The ends of each Whoa. And twist the ends over each other to create the pretzels three signature holes. I don't know how this actually excites me. Another machine now grabs the ends of each noodle and twists the ends over each other to create the pretzel's three signature holes. To keep this knot from unraveling, the plate then gently flips the pretzel dough onto another plate below. Man. That plate carefully flips the dough creations onto a 118 foot long conveyor belt. That is so amazing. Now travel on the conveyor for 14 minutes. The time it takes for the dough to rise. Next, they move through showers of liquid sodium hydroxide to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That seals in the moisture so the pretzel will be chewing when you eat it. Hmm. They go into an oven that's about the length of a city bus. As they enter, the length of the city bus. I thought I'd ride them anymore. Sticking to the mesh conveyor belt during baking. After about three and a half minutes at 560 degrees Fahrenheit, the pretzels are piping hot and golden brown. And tasty. Long conveyor, which will gradually cool on their way to the next step, a trip to a freezer that's longer than seven Olympic-sized swimming pools. After 30 minutes at minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit, oh the my goodness. Are and ready for packaging. But first, a camera scans them so that a computer can track each pretzel and guide a robotic arm to pick it up. This arm is one of five that operates at separate points on the line. <laughs> Look at that arm. It's like a claw machine you see in the arcade. The robot almost. One pretzel per second <laughs> well, I see the, well, I see these very often. <laughs> Man. The pretzels then fall through a sliding gate, landing on a conveyor that whisks them off to the next step. There, a machine drops a packet of coarse salt into each bit of six pretzels. Wow. The mechanical arm nudges the pretzels over to make room for it. The salt packet lets you season your pretzel in the traditional way before warming it up at home. The machine blows mm. over the plastic bags with compressed air. The mechanical arms push the pretzels and salt packet inside. Mm.
this is actually better than Rupture Farms, as you saw for those who play Abe's Odd World. Definitely better than Rupture Farms. <laughs> A delicious, gigantic, decadent pretzel. I personally love those in the gigantic form. <laughs> but either way, that was a very great video. So that was it guys. How it's made series. Showing an episode of pretzels. How they were made. I hope you guys enjoyed reaction to the pools. If you did as always, smack the thumbs up button. Because we're going to be going. And try not to draw on your finger when it comes to watching the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but still. Anyway guys, subscribe to Science Channel. As always, I'm going to add the channel in the credits, comments, and the outro of the video. The many memories of how I had a, an odd taste bud of certain things that people love to eat. But growing up, they changed eventually. But at the very least, it's a good thing. Because now I like hush puppies, pretzels, avocado. Yeah, and... You know, but... Either way, guys. Very tasty video. Not to eat, but to watch. But... Either way guys, if you guys are new to the channel, otherwise, make sure to subscribe for more content. Make sure to follow my social media, join me on Twitch, where I live on Fridays, Saturdays, and of course on the holidays. If you want to join my community in the description below, and don't forget as always, to share because of care. But with that said, the more to come soon, this is Super Reploids Daily. I love you guys to the fullest as always. I'll see Reploids, Mavericks, Maverick Hunters, Sigma, etc. Everyone, in the next video, take it easy. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the bell symbol located by the subscriber count. Just one click away, and boom! Hi there Reploids, this is Silver Reploids CLE. I wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want more content, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow my social media for more updates. And in case you missed it, please check out my previous video or any video displayed. And please give tons of love and support. I look forward to seeing you at the Utopia, my dear Reploids.